Hello there, welcome to our GCP Mindset channel. My name is Carol and today's Jobs and Clinical Research will talk about a job I'm passionate about, remote clinical data monitoring. Stay tuned. Since the pandemic, a lot of us in the clinical research industry switched to remote or virtual processes. We had remote processes way before it was even cool. So I'm here today to tell you a bit more about remote clinical data monitoring, what it entails, the skill set required, and why is this a key role in clinical research. First, let's look at some of the background knowledge from ICHGCP. As we may already know, ICHGCP guidelines describes the responsibilities of all involved parties in the conduct of clinical trials, including investigators, monitors, sponsors, and IRBs. The amendment of the guidelines in 2016 included an integration addendum to bring a more efficient approach to ensure oversight of any trial-related duties and functions, while ensuring data integrity and patient safety is guaranteed. So how is this achieved? One of the ways of maintaining trial oversight and ensuring compliance is the requirement of clinical monitoring. We've covered a lot of topics on clinical monitoring in our channel, so feel free to refer to any one of our videos. In the past, clinical monitors generally achieved this by traveling to the sites to check all documents for the clinical trial that they were legible, complete, reliable, accurate and show that the clinical study was being conducted as per the protocol, regulations and SOPs. Some of the activities involved verification of informed consent forms, checking all documents were all signed, all patients were eligible, enrollment was done as per the protocol, medication was given in compliance to the protocol, all adverse events, safety monitoring was being done, the list goes on. With remote monitoring, there's no need to travel. All clinical data collected from different data sources such as patient reported outcomes, diaries, central labs, imaging and pathology reports, also ECRFs and EDC is reviewed electronically in-house. This means all these data are integrated into systems which we are able to check that clinical data is entered in a timely manner, it's accurate, consistent, medically logical and above all, patient safety is being prioritized. Without traveling to the sites, we are also able to detect out-of-range data, for example lab results, prevent simple data errors, quickly spot suspicious data trends for further investigation, something that the on-site monitors were not able to do during the same monitoring visit at the study site. So forget the long hours spent in trains, flight delays, or even border control. These stressful situations that may impact your energy level. With the elimination of traveling, we, the remote team, have our full concentration on data. We can identify protocol deviations, high-risk sites or countries, and what's even cooler, we're able to have an overview of data across all the entries across the study even when the sites are based in Latin America, Africa, Europe, name it, sometimes even in real time. This overview allows us to compare variations in data across the entire globe. Hence, anything suspicious, we'll find it. Let's look at some of the skill set one may need to work in this field. First, the life science background will certainly make your job easier since you'll come across a lot of medical terms. Language barrier is an uncommon obstacle in this field as most of the data is in English, meaning strong communication skills is a plus as you're in constant communication with the entire study team as well as addressing issues directly with the clinical sites. Another important skill set to note is that your concentration level to focus on clinical data cannot be halfway. You'll need to give it all you got for each study and patient. Therefore, each time you conduct your review should feel like the first time. 100% effort for every data point. To summarize, remote clinical data monitors are crucial in clinical research today. Especially now, a lot of organizations are starting to realize that in fact, a lot can be done remotely, saves costs, and has a lot of possibilities, especially for the project team, this constant data review cleans data, meaning studies can now be closed a lot faster, giving us more room for more projects. We hope you liked our video on the insights into remote monitoring. 
We are excited about the future of remote monitoring since technology is constantly advancing, making every day a dream to work in this field. We'll be happy to answer any questions in the comments section. Until next time, goodbye. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.